video, I'm gonna show you how to work the pinhole cast on, which is very cool. It was recommended to me by a viewer and I couldn't find your email to say your name in the video. I'm sorry, here's your video. Sorry, I don't remember your name, but suggestions for videos are always welcome. You can leave me a comment or send me uh, an email. Um, my list of videos coming up grows that way. That's how I know what to bring you next. The pinhole cast on is the cast on that you want to use, or you don't have to use it. It's very cool though. When you are starting with just a few stitches on double pointed needles and working out to make a flat piece with increases, or not even a flat piece. Sometimes toe up socks will start with just a few stitches cast on and then, um, and then with increases will end up making the foot of a sock. Uh, some patterns that I know that use this are blankets. Several blankets start with just a few stitches this way. And the French market bag, a very popular pattern. I'll give you a link in the video description field below. At the bottom of the bag starts out with just a few stitches and it expands out. And the pinhole cast on is a way of using a crochet hook to make a cast on that you can actually tighten so that there isn't a hole or any kind of um, a gap in the very center of the work. And that's what this technique does. Let's go ahead and take a close up. Here is a finished piece with the pinhole cast on. These, um, I started here at the very center with just a few stitches and I just kept increasing every other round. It's just stockinette stitch. You can see uh, the pinhole cast on makes things completely without a gap. There's no hole in the middle there. And it's because this cast on is, that's what it does, it's very cool. Now to do this, you will need a crochet hook. Uh, and this technique is actually used uh, in crochet. I've done it with crochet before, but I've never uh, used it for knitting until recently. And it's a, it's a good technique. You need a crochet hook. You don't really have to know how to crochet to do this. It's just a tool. And you wanna take your yarn, leaving yourself a little bit of tail, wrap it around your right finger like this, or your left finger if you're right-handed. Um, I'm going to demonstrate for a right-handed person. Everything is just backwards for a left-handed person. Uh, so the working yarn is here. The tail end is here. Put the crochet hook under the loop on your finger. Grab the yarn. Pull up a loop. Grab the yarn and pull it through that. There's one stitch. We're going to pretend that I have to cast on eight, which I think is a number for the French market bag. Go under that yarn, pull up a loop, and then grab the yarn and pull it through. And once you have a couple of stitches, I like to go ahead and pull my finger out. It's just easier to pinch it this way. Go under that loop, pull up a loop, grab the yarn, pull through that loop. We are accumulating stitches on the crochet hook. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then you want to slide those stitches down to the other end of the crochet hook and take your double pointed needles and separate the stitches onto the DPNs the way the pattern tells you. I have a huge pile of DPNs here on my tabletop, and I don't know if I'm grabbing the same size, <laughs> but. For demonstration purposes, I suppose it's okay. Now this doesn't make working with so few stitches on double pointed needles any easier. It does, it just makes it so you can close up the hole. So once you get things all twisted out, you can, uh, untwisted, twisted out, that's not even a word. Here is the tail end. You can pull on this tail end and you can see that closed right up. And it also helped tidy things up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, before I forget, here is a link to my video uh, that shows you how to work on DPNs like this with very few stitches. You can use it in combination with this video to use the pinhole cast on and just work on a few stitches like this. But there, um, 
I've pulled on the tail end and I see that I have a successful pinhole cast on. I'm glad that worked because I have this sample as well where I've worked a few rounds and I have not pulled it tight yet. I would normally say you want to pull it tight before you get this much work done, but I saved this for demonstration. I hope, <laughs> I hope it works. There's always a chance that something in your cast on can get uh, twisted and so you'll want to start over again if it's not going to tighten up. Oh, but mine's going to tighten up just fine. There it is. All closed up. Wow, I'm glad that worked. And I'm going to take my tapestry needle and poke that end through to the back just so I can see how pretty it looks without the end. Ta-da! I love it when things work out well. That's it, the pinhole cast on, good luck.